So in this question, they asked us uh, a similar thing. They say, find the general solution for the following trigonometric equation without using a calculator. So here they give us, and obviously we are going to need our uh, knowledge of special angles in order to do that. So let's just quickly draw our special angle uh, diagram here. Okay, and we know it's a quarter of a circle uh, with a radius of 2. Okay, with our 30, 45, and 60 degree angles. 30, 45, and 60 degree angles. And then we get that this is, we start here for x, square root of 0 is 0 square root of 1 is 1, square root of 2 is not known, square root of 3 is not known, uh, square root of 4 is equal to 2, and then we start here with y, square root of 0 is 0, square root of 1 is 1, square root of 2 is not, well, it's known, just not all <laughs> by, by heart, square root of 3 is square root of 3, and square root of 4 is 2. Okay, there we go. This is the uh, the diagram, and we want tan, which is x, uh, y over x, y over x. Y must be one, and x must be square root three. And there we go. And that means that we're working with thirty degrees. So, our reference angle is thirty degrees. Problem is that our reference angle is not exactly 30 degrees because that would have been in the first quadrant. You see, this is first quadrant where x, y is positive and where x is positive. We want tan to be negative. Now, that's either going to be in the second quadrant or in the fourth quadrant. So let's just go for the fourth quadrant. It's easy because we just make that negative 30 degrees. And this will work for sine and for uh, tan. Okay, we can just use the negative angle, but for cos it doesn't work. For cos we have to use the second or the third quadrant angle. But for that, for for this, uh, that's it. And tan is the easy one because tan only has one solution. The general solution for tan is the reference angle plus. Sorry, we must use t is equal to the reference angle plus, and the period for tan is 180 degrees. Tan repeats itself every 180 degrees, where the other function repeats itself, functions repeats itself, um, or themselves every 360 degrees. So our reference angle is negative 30 degrees plus 180 degrees times k, where k is an integer, and that's it. Tan is really really easy, and let's just see. Okay, tan must be a negative value. Negative 30 degrees is fourth quadrant. If I add 180 to the fourth quadrant, I get into the second quadrant where tan is also negative. Okay, so let's take one example. Negative 30 plus 180 is, for example, 150 degrees. 150 degrees will be in this quadrant, so there we go. It works.